What's good, Mortar Gang? Today we're about to react to top 10 greatest video game endings. This is by one of my favorite top 10 channels, WatchMojo.com. They made their top 10s be on point. So without further ado, let's get it. These are the epic conclusions that earned a standing ovation from gamers. I'm putting on a little show for you. It's going to be a doozy. Oh yeah, I may, I may not talk that much throughout the top this video since it's the top endings. 10. You know, I want y'all to hear it. For this list, we're looking at the video game finales that managed to end on a satisfying note and stay true to the narrative, offering a good sense of closure, whether or not we were cheering or weeping by the end of it. We complete our mission. And what mission would that be, sir? Just get me a cut. Damn. Radio? We're basing our choices on a mixture of fan votes, popularity, and our own personal preference. Obviously, every entry is basically a spoiler, so a massive spoiler alert is hereby in effect. Black out is over. We won. That was just shit, man. Number 10, The Witcher 3, Wild Hunt. We were right to come. I was deeply troubled. You have no idea. It's very rare that a franchise manages to finish off a trilogy on such a high note. When said high note is one of the greatest games in the franchise and is regarded as the best game of the entire year, you know that you got something nothing short of spectacular. Let's ferret on. See if we can't find something even more interesting. Depending upon a ludicrous amount of variables throughout the game, the various endings for Geralt, his romantic life, Ciri, and the fate of the Northern Kingdoms all vary greatly. Glad to see the horse is in good hands. The best. His owners. However, we're especially fond of the ending that sees Ciri becoming the new Emperor, as it features a touching segment where she and Geralt wander the woods and enjoy their last fleeting moments together. Number 9, Batman Arkham City. Get out of my way, Bats! I've got a date with immortality! The sequel more than matched its predecessor in terms of a dark nature, most of which was due to the superb portrayal of Batman's greatest foe. While he may have been calling the shots in the madhouse, the Joker was shown to be vulnerable and desperate as he slowly begins to waste away due to the events of Arkham Asylum. <coughs> uh, confusing, isn't it? I know I'd want to know just what the hell is going on if I were you. <laughs> His chances for salvation go down the drain when his murderous habits force him to take a stab at the bat, only to break the cure for his condition instead. Think of it as a running cow! No! Oh, damn. The best part here, Batman tells the Joker something that makes him laugh one last time. Even after everything you've done, I would have saved you. <laughs> Number 8, Gears of War 3. What's left, Anya? What have we got left now? Marcus Phoenix and company have been to hell and back again several times over in their campaign to destroy the vicious and but ugly locusts. And we've been there to enjoy every second of it. No regrets, no looking back. It has been so yeah. long since I played the sure, Gears yeah. of War game. We better get going. After discovering that Phoenix's father had found a way to end the threat, the Gears have to endure wave after wave of enemies before the device that can kill them is activated. Even then, it comes at the cost of Adam Phoenix's life. I'm glad I was able to see you again, Marcus. Uh, now go that this show is and live for me. With so many friends and loved ones added to the enormous body count, seeing Marcus drive that knife into the Locust Queen was ever so satisfying. Humanity, oh, yes, as always, was. finds a way to survive. Gotcha, bitch! Like, yeah, bitch, shut the fuck up. <laughs> That's from Dom. And everyone else you killed, you bitch. Number seven, yes. Bioshock. Yes. Give me back my daughter! No! The Bioshock franchise has prided itself on exploring the darker side of humanity's nature. Its latest installment very know, much sent players on a game. wild trip through various timelines leading to the rather depressing ending where our protagonist must decide who he truly wants to be, or not be. What if I went back, killed him before he did any of this? Things get set in motion. How would one know how far back to go? 
With so many Booker DeWitt scattered across infinite realities, some of them always end up becoming the villainous Comstock. So Booker decides that he wants to remain a good man and allows the various incarnations of Elizabeth to drown him in order to protect her many, many futures. Who are you? You chose to walk away, but in other oceans, you didn't. You took the baptism. Confusing? Totally. Heartbreaking? Also, yes. Nothing is finished! Look her. You lock her up for her whole life! Look her. You cut off her finger and you put it on me! Number six, Mass Effect 2. Cerberus is humanity. I should have known you'd choke on the hard decisions. Too idealistic from the start. The highlight of this epic space opera definitely came from the second outing. Working with the shady Cerberus organization and awesome otherworldly characters, Commander Shepard must traverse the galaxy to defeat the fearsome collectors, who have a bad habit of kidnapping and liquidizing humans. That which you know as Reapers are your salvation of destruction. Depending on who you've sided with and helped out throughout the course of the game, as well as who you assigned to do what during the infamous mission, who lives and dies can also vary greatly, including Commander Shepard himself. Commander! Alright, I think um, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and end it right here. Um, if y'all want to see the rest of this, the link to WatchMojo.com channel will be in the description below. I'm out. Peace.